the cork is a particular fault uh, that comes when the cork has been contaminated um, by an insect or something? Uh, like it's it? uh, a type of chemical that is naturally occurring in the, the bark of the tree because corks are made from tree bark uh, and it's a particular type of tree but you get this leaching of this compound into the wine and it gives it this real musty sort mm. of aroma. Uh, I mean, it's not going to make the wine undrinkable, but it just won't taste like it should. Yeah. And obviously, the rise of screw caps is uh, uh, to try and combat that, but a lot of brand new corks mean that you have far less yeah. chance of a cork taint. It's yeah. not as bad as it used to be, is Absolutely. it? Absolutely. But you see a lot of new corks nowadays, my uh, the good old classic favourite, you know, those ones that look a bit like chipboard? Yes. The, the Dianes, they're yeah. actually, uh, they should, should be cork free, cork wow. taint free. Wow. But I've got a theory for you. Someone once told me, and that's a bit of a sneaky fact, if you get a wine that's corked, a way to try and minimise the cork taints, obviously open it up, let it aerate, but pulling a little bit of cling film, put some cling film in the wine, scrunch it up, apparently there's a chemical reaction that happens and it takes away some of the taint. It's not perfect. Whoa. You can try this at home if you want. Wow. But it's, it's some way to yeah. minimise the taint. So, uh, yeah, corked means it smells musty.